Oh, hey man, what's going on? A little cold. So, oh man, I gotta crack, crack those bones. <laughs> I was working on the, the zine. It's slow going, but it's coming along. So I got some comics today. I got Ghost Rider, Dan Ketch. This has the first three issues of that 90s Ghost Rider, or actually was it, might be even late 80s. Ugh. Let's see. Now 1990, with the art, the pencil, penciler Javier Solteris, and inkers by Marx Texier. Texaida. Man, this is pretty good art. I forgot how good it was. So, got that. I got this Blade Vampire Nation. I think it's a one shot. It was pretty good, though. Actually, I was surprised. Like, I like the movies. Most surprising, surprising of all was this Gold Goblin number one. I just got it just because. Uh, I don't know why. I like I like all the goblins. There's a gold goblin that seems kind of lame. I actually think I actually think his costume could be better, but it was a good story. I was surprised. Like I want to read what's gonna happen next because it's it's Norman. No, 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 no. I mean it, it's yeah, it's Norman Osborn, the original Green Goblin, but now he's good. He's been cleansed of all his sins. So and he and he's working with Peter, so so that's weird. What I'm gonna review today is 2011's Alps, directed by Yorgos Lanthimos. And see if I could say his name. Uh, written by Yorgos Lanthimos and Ephemus. Flippo. So, it says when the end is near, when the end when the end is here, the Alps are near. It's weird. It doesn't really tell you anything to cover. So it's about. Um, it says, Alps is a mysterious and moving investigation into the process of mourning. A stunningly original follow-up to director Yorgos Lanthimos' Oscar-nominated debut, uh, Dogtooth, 2009. So there's this group of, like, four people. They just put together this organization where if someone's love, if, say your loved one is, say your daughter, it's like in the movie, say your daughter has passed away, they'll pretend to be her to help you through the grieving process. Which is a really weird idea, but I mean, there's a lot of potential for a story. But I didn't, couldn't even really tell when they started doing it, really. Oh, characters seem to come and go. They do, talk it about, they do talk about it a little, but it starts out with this girl dancing, doing a dance routine. And then she tells her coach... I want to dance to pop. And he's all, you're not ready for to dance to pop music. And she's all, but I want to. And he's all, if you ask me again, I'm going to crack your head open. I'm going to like stomp your face and rip your guts out or something like that. He threatens her. And then the movie starts. <sighs> yeah. yeah, you're tired. So they start doing this at some point, and it's just weird. If you haven't seen any films by Yorgos, you might not like it. I, I've seen Dog Tooth. When I saw Dog Tooth, I think that was. Oh, gee, I, th I think I saw it like 2000. Jesus. 2017, 2018, maybe. And I thought it was one of the best movies I'd ever seen in that, like, in years. Like, that just had me riveted. Just every, the whole movie is just crazy and just compelling and thought-provoking. I mean, really. 
and I saw the lobster, which is great. I've seen the killing of a sacred deer, which which is good. And then the favorite was awesome. It's weird, like that movie looks so boring, but it is so good. So I was like, I gotta see Alps at some point. Mm -hmm. So I read a lot of reviews and it said it's just boring, it doesn't make sense, it's stupid. And that is kind of true. But I still liked it. I'm not gonna pretend and say that I understand what it's really about. Because it just seemed, there's a lot of parts where they just ask, they ask someone, what's your favorite actor? Or what's your favorite movie? And the way they talk in this, in all of his movies, but especially this one, they just like no emotion. They're almost, they're not robots, but they, they kind of act like it. And, but then there's a lot of funny parts I thought where they, they're dancing. There's a part where it's not even doing it with the family. They're just the, the Alps, the people that that work in the Alps. <laughs> they're reenacting re their favorite movie. And there's a part, uh, during that part, the guy like he rips his shirt and he puts these red lines on his stomach and he's posing. And then I was, oh, he's doing Bruce Lee. Why? I don't know. There's a lot of dancing, but yeah, they dance with this girl just starts dancing. There's no emotion and she dances so funny. I think it was actually pretty funny, but I didn't understand it. I did kind of get at the end that one of the girls that's pretending to be a daughter, that's like all she has. She has nothing else, and she breaks into their house to pretend to be their daughter. But she lays in bed, and the dad comes in and just drags her out. And But she's just talking like, I went to the movies today. It was a really good movie. It was about a soldier that goes back to war. And she's talking like that. And then she said, I had a good tennis game. I won. And the whole time he's dragging her out. She's not really resisting, but she is a little bit. Finally, he throws her out, but she had broken through a window to get in and she goes around to get in again. And I thought he was like, I thought he was going like, to shoot her or kill her or something. Because, does it say? Because it says, but when the nurse, oh yeah, Monta Rosa begins to attach too deeply to her subjects. Their project spirals out of control into violence and confusion. There's, it doesn't really get violent. There's one part of violence where, I don't know, again, I don't know why one of the, the guy who started the Alps, he hits her in the face with this club or this, I don't know what it is. I don't know why he hit her, but it was that part. I mean, that's the only moment of violence, but where it's like, I was like, man, did he kill her? Because he hit her hard, but he just like, cut her face open. And then it ends with the girl doing her dance routine, but she's doing it to that, uh, like the theme song for the for Art Bell's Coast to Coast, like a different version. And her dance is pretty good. She's using the stick with the, the ribbon at the end, and that was pretty cool. She danced really good. And then I knew it, like, she finishes her, her dance. She runs up to her coach, the same one that had like threatened to kill her, and she hugs him and she's like, "You're the best coach in the world." That's the one. Like the one time in the movie where they show where emotion is shown, and, and it's from her. She's so happy that she did her because she was able to dance to pop. I guess she thought that was pop, and I was like, "It's gonna end," and then it ended. <laughs> I would watch it again because there are parts of I don't know what's going on. They're reenacting stuff, it's, or like they're doing scenes with the family, but I was a why? Oh. Watch Dogtooth, or The Lobster, or The Favorite, and then if you like those, I'd say watch The Alps. Got it from the library, so I'm gonna watch it again. I did get, I do get his humor, I think, but I don't know what he's really trying to say. But he's trying to say something, and I, I did like it. But I can't say, yeah, oh, it's it's a must see. A, I say Dog Tooth is a must see, yeah. And if you like his movies, then try the Alps. You could probably get it at your local library. 
<sighs> so I'm gonna go get a beer and uh, I might have one more review so we'll see but I'm glad I, I watched it. The Watchdog Tooth. <laughs>